stimulus packages introduced by the by the government were uh, were uh, not uh, well thought out and it was very it was very you know uh, not very welfare oriented kind of policy which was initiated uh, government announced in the first package 260 billion uh, dollars uh, for different companies for enterprises industries and they were supposed to take loans but since the businesses were failing and the future was not certain so, so the government uh, so the so industries or the commercial enterprises they did not uh, go for borrowing the money from the government so money remained parked in uh, many of the, in, uh, in the in the central banks of india and for act for supporting the people the kind of initiative which were taken uh, by the by the government was ridiculous Government announced five kilogram of uh, one cereal a month per person and one kilogram of gram uh, for per family. And this was uh, this was absolutely you know not thought out. Government should have provided the basic necessity, uh, you know, either in, some, in in terms of giving cash to the poor people, uh, at least the people who are below poverty line, or you know the people or at least the cereals which could have been used. Uh, by the poor people to support themselves, but that was not uh, very. Uh, uh, that was uh, the government was not generous in supporting uh, the people of India, and it was uh, not. It did not. It was. It will not suffice even the basic minimum requirement of a poor family. And in, in India, as you know, the poverty uh, uh, poverty the B BPL uh, is very high, and because of this coronavirus crisis, many of the people who are otherwise not in the in the category of below poverty line. They have gone into this category of BPL. So, uh, according to one of the one of the writers, journalist in India, his name is Prem Shankar Jha, and he criticized this kind of policy by saying that this is not parsimony born out of a desire to protect the country's macro fundamentals. Uh, it is mercilessness born out of an inability to feel the pain of others. The automatic stabilization role of fiscal deficit was uh, is inadequate to boost the economy, and the, he argued that you know, the stimulus effect will be small compared to the decrease in the private sector demand. Uh, Indian businesses are also, as uh, as, as as you know, uh, are micro and small units, and they collapse immediately and they retrench the workers. So unorganized sectors are not were not getting the actual benefit. Of stimulus packages, and as a consequence, the stimulus packages, the way it works in the developed country, it was not very effective uh, in the case of uh, uh, India because uh, most of the sectors are uh, unorganized sector here. The Confederation Confederation of Indian Industry, uh, which is kind of you know a group of uh, industrial houses who uh, who have this uh, who run this organization, so this Confederation of Indian Industry argued for a stimulus of 7.5% of the GDP. And they said that if the US can provide uh, a three trillion dollar of support uh, to that uh, as a stimulus, uh, India should also support, India should also provide 7.5% of GDP as a stimulus to the industry. Uh, but of course, this was not accepted by the government and government kept uh, supporting or kept offering a stimulus in packages. And most of them were in the forms of as a loan uh, to the to the commercial enterprises uh, finance minister nirmala sitaraman uh, she again announced you know uh, 73000 crore package later which actually uh, was given as an incentive uh, to to increase the demand by supporting government employees uh, by offering them advanced cash and also to stimulate consumer and investment in uh, demands in the economy the government which had uh, in may announced a 265 a billion dollar uh, and, and that was said to be you know but to make india self dependent so that you know the import comes uh, in, import is cut down and india becomes a self reliant economy and that uh, is uh, that led to the you know uh, that led to uh, that led to a kind of new uh, kind of philosophy uh, in indian economy where they started uh, talking about you know uh, cutting down import uh, india first and making India self-reliant. Uh, many of the Chinese uh, uh, this, uh, imports were banned. Uh, many of the Chinese apps were also banned. So that was the kind of new thing which was happening because of the, uh, the, the, the crisis of this, uh, uh, this corona crisis. And uh, critiques started, uh, I'll, I'll also give you some of the critiques of this stimulus package. Uh, one of the writers, Prem Shankar Jha, uh, one of the journalists, he said that Modi's stimulus package is a gigantic confidence trick 
a plate on the people of India. And uh, and another uh, one of the one of the again uh, uh, Yogendra Yadav, who uh, is a well-known uh, figure in India. So he said Modi's stimulus package was an entertainment. Basically, it meant that you know it was not meant for the poor people. It was not meant for stimulating uh, the economy or increasing the demand. Uh, rather, it was a true kind of you know it was uh, it was a kind of straight jam to trick the people. Uh, and they argue, most of the economists in India argue that the recovery is likely to be U-shaped graph rather than the claim made by the government, which is the, the V-shaped. So uh, recovery is uh, going to be very slow. It might take a lot of time. Uh, finally, there is also, you know, uh, the, uh, the business, many of the businesses have failed, especially in the, in, in the tourism sector and uh, in uh, in the service sector many of the business especially the small businesses they find it difficult to operate and according to an estimate by confederation of indian industry and trader they say that up to 30 percent of retailers are likely to fail and uh, all india manufacturing organizations say that 35 percent of small uh, businesses might shut down and the gdp is likely to decline from uh, two, uh, 204 lakh crore uh, in 2019 uh, 20 to 130 crore uh, in 2021. Raghuram Rajan, uh, who, is, who, who is an economist and he was the governor of Reserve Bank of India, so he said that the government package has has some good elements, but a lot more needs to be done. So he also said that government was not uh, offering sufficient stimulus and support to the people, which one expected during the kind uh, this type of crisis. This crisis has impacted each and every person in India, and then government could have shown his you know uh, the 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 gender side, but in a state government was very careful uh, in in spending money on the poor people. Uh, it it uh, it preferred supporting to the uh, to the industries rather than you know uh, supporting poor people, which could have led to higher demand and of course which could have you know led to the industrial revival. And that's why the lockdown strategy was not very successful in India. Uh, in Malaysia, China, Singapore, it might have succeeded, but lockdown did not succeed in India. It, uh, it succeeded in one way, in the sense that it succeeded in containing the crisis uh, for some time. But uh, as, as we see now, you know, in different parts of India, the, there is no, now there is no lockdown, but, uh, but the, and the coronavirus crisis is spreading in different parts of India, especially in metropolitan cities. It is now reaching Delhi is one of the, one, one of the worst impact in affected sta states and uh, cities of India. So, it, it, so this coronavirus is started impacting and uh, now, uh, you know, uh, the every part of India and uh, the uh, vaccine research and distribution is one issue where the government is thinking how to, how to, uh, how to, uh, how to, uh, this uh, develop this vaccine and also how to distribute in India. There, there are a few vaccine candidates which are under different phases of clinical trial. Uh, Pune Best Serum Institute of India is in the process of manufacturing Covishield, uh, which has been developed in collaboration with Oxford University uh, and pharma giant uh, AstraZeneca. So uh, that is one of the sub that is being projected as one of the viable vaccines for india because you know the pfizer and other vaccines which are moderna which uh, are uh, which are being developed by the united states that will take time that's number one and it is also expensive so because of and also because of the you know uh, the the way they would be kept in a certain temperature and the kind of facilities which are required for preserving those vaccines so they uh, may not be here in india so because of that uh, people are arguing here that oxford supported the COVID shield that might be a viable option for India. But there are also other candidates. For instance, Dr. Reddy's laboratories partnered with a Russian Sputnik, uh, Sputnik V vaccine. Um, that is one of the options, uh, again, uh, which, uh, you know, if uh, that succeeds. So that is another option for India. Covaxin is, again, uh, the third candidate is being developed by uh, with uh, by Bharat Biotech in association with Indian Council of Medical Research, which is you know uh, the Indian Indian premier organization which controls the medical research in India, and also there is uh, Gujarat-based pharma giant Zydus Cadila, which is also developing another indigenous vaccine, uh, in, which is in the second stage of trial. So amid amidst plans for COVID-19 vaccination drive to be undertaken, uh, there is a, a kind of you know. Uh, there is a, that now a uh, sense is emerging that by next year, early next year, the vaccine would be available in India. But again, uh, the issue is how effective they are, what kind of distribution it will take place, 
what kind of distribution would take place and uh, who are the people who are likely to get the vaccine first and government has announced that uh, in some some of the areas that government will provide free vaccine to india so that will lead to some kind of again which is needed of course in a poor, in, in in a country like india where you have, we have such a huge uh, poor population the free vaccine is a necess necessity but acquiring the vaccine then distribution of vaccine uh, would be a big challenge for india but overall you know if i tell you the in conclusion that how this coronavirus has impacted so it has impacted massively the poor population of india the kind of support they expected from the government that did not come they migrated uh, to uh, to the rural areas and also uh, in the absence of proper work there uh, they had a very difficult time uh, some of the people now started coming back to the cities but again cities are facing the second or third wave of this coronavirus crisis so uh, so that that has led to a kind of you know difficult situation for india and of course economy this uh, as i told you that you know according to imf or the experts in india the economy is in a in a in a bad shape uh, it it will take long a time for indian economy to recover so because of the economic factor uh, the the impact has been uh, really really uh, really really you know severe uh, on poor population of india